Thank you. Yes, and an inspiration vibe comes from the book of Zechariah, chapter 2, verse 1 to 5, which says, I'll just go ahead and read it. Then I looked up, and there before me was a man with a measuring line in his hand. I asked, where are you going? He answered me, to measure Jerusalem, to find out how wide and how long it is. Okay, verse 3. Then the angel who was speaking to me left, and another angel came to, to meet him and say to him, Run, tell that young man, Jerusalem will be a city without wars because of the great number of men and livestock in it. Verse 5. And I, and I myself will be a wall of fire. I want you to underline that word. I myself will be the wall of fire around it declares the Lord, and I will be its glory within. So, in this verse, yes, in, these are the children of Israel. They had stayed in exile in Babylon for a long time, but God brought them back to their land. Here they are in Jerusalem. Here, God had assigned Zerubbabel, who was the governor during that time, to rebuild the temple of God. And as people came back to their land, they were also trying to rebuild their own city and their homes because they didn't have anywhere to stay and they didn't have anywhere to worship. But you know, during that time, Zerubbabel faced a lot of opposition. And this is just one of them. This man, he has a measuring line walking around, trying to measure how Jerusalem, how big it is, trying to measure a wall, wall of Jerusalem <laughs> and trying to determine to see how big it is. That is so discouraging. But God, how faithful he is. He said, he sent an angel and said, go tell that man that Jerusalem will be a, a city without wall. Because, you know, even in our home state right now, a wall symbolizes, it symbolizes name, security, boundary, hey, how far this place will be, how far your home state will be. So it symbolizes security and boundary over property. So this man is trying to measure how big, as in Jerusalem, it Wapi. But God, God favor the people of Jerusalem, uh, Israelite. He was like, no, my people will not be measured because the people in that Jerusalem, they're going to be many. They're going to multiply. They're going to increase. I'm going to expand them. So there's no way you can limit them. There's no way you can box them into a measurement and say, happened. They, this is where they're going to fit. So he's, instead, he's going to be their wall of fire. At our protect na his mighty hand, as it will be their wall of fire around them. There's no way they can be boxed or be limited. You cannot limit Jerusalem by saying this far. This is how far they will grow. No, because God is going to increase them. Remember, he had brought them out of exile. So he was going to increase them. He was going to expand them. He was going to multiply. The people will multiply. Their livestock will multiply. And our God, they say God is the same yesterday and today. God, who did it for them? He can do it for you. And you know, it's so many times, mm, so many times we put our lives, yes, and we put a limit in our lives, like we box ourselves. So we box ourselves in our current situation, as in, in according to our history, our family backgrounds, and our ability, our human understanding, we try to box ourselves. Like, for, for instance, we see that uh, if my siblings, my elder siblings went to this primary school, went to this secondary school, and finally they went to this high nini university. So you assume you also go to the same, you follow the same path. But God has a better plan for you. So don't box yourself to a small, small thing. Don't try to measure our lives with others. Your story is different. So let God uh, ex ex extend you, let God expand you, because God's plan for your life is marvelous. He will do it beautifully according to his time. He's going to, to, to surround you with wall of fire. Mm -hmm. So he's going to expand. So don't limit yourself. Don't box yourself according to your human understanding. Pray to God and he will bless you. Okay. Uh, so as children of God, we have many needs. We have many needs which you cannot provide for ourselves. There's no way we can provide for ourselves. So unless God helps us, there is no way we can do it on our own human understanding, our own human strength. Uh, so always go to God, always go to God and trust him fully to help us grow physically, socially, spiritually, financially. I was telling you uh, some Sundays back, I was trusting God to expand me spiritually. 
So I ran to him and prayed to him and trusted him. And he did. He's expanding me. So if he can do it for me, he can also do it for you. So don't limit yourself with your human understanding or your human strength. Let go do his marvelous work in his life. What you need to do, just trust him. Like we said, know your identity in Christ. Guard your identity and walk in his will. God is going to expand you. And God is ready to expand you. Eh? We just need to ask him and trust him. And don't give up. Even if it takes a long time, don't give up. So stop boxing yourself and trust God to expand you you and that brings the end of our inspiration vibe for today and that on that note watch us to reward wasi walikuwa na share pale